So today I'm uh, moving four boxes to my out yard, including the one I just uh, removed from a house here in Crescent. So I've got them all taped up, strapped up, and ready to go. And uh, it's probably about 38 degrees right now. So I'm going to go ahead and load them up and I'll be back. Okay, so the other day I went through all these hives and uh, emptied all the dry sugar out of them and uh, pre-mixed up some two-to-one sugar and uh, I'm using this five-gallon, what should be a gas can, but sugar water can here. I turn it, hit this button and it comes out, uh, which makes it really easy. It's better than carrying around a five-gallon bucket, yeah. so I'm going to show you here real quick. Like that. So much easier. A little heavy, but it works. Now I'm feeding inside and outside of the hive, so I have community feeders, five gallon buckets upside down with holes drilled around the rim. And, uh, okay. And this hive are a little testy so let's see how they act So I got to this one, I just wanted to show there's, look at all the condensation that's building up right there on that cap. But uh, anyway, just wanted to show. Okay, so I've just got uh, down here to my other bee yard and I'm coming down here so I can uh, put some uh, two to one sugar water inside the hive top feeders but um, I've still got dry sugar in so I'm going to have to take all the dry sugar out and then put the liquid feed in and uh, I'll be right back okay so i got to open the gate here Okay, so I just got over here. I just set up this run yesterday, and I'm going to set up another run right here. But it looks like all the bees out here are doing pretty good. Let's see. No activity in this one right here. Okay, so I came out here, but man, I had to put my suit on today. Um, some are trying to hit me, a few of them, not, not all attacking me or anything here. But the wind's blowing uh, pretty good. And uh, there's a few that just want me to get back here. But I don't feel like getting stung in the face today, so I put my suit on. I'm not seeing much go on here, so... I'm gonna. These are the, the hives I just moved a couple days ago. And this is the cutout hive right here. But I'm about to feed all of these girls right here. This 
these are doing good so far from what it looks like anyway from what I can see except for this this one right here okay I'm not sure if you can hear that but just to show how windy it is the wind is whistling through here I'm gonna go ahead and roll this out some more for one more run. And I'll be okay, right. so I got that run set up. And now on to the feed. First, before I start feeding, I want to go, I just want to see what's going on in here. If anything. So it looks like I left my hive tool, but I'll be using this razor knife. I'm just gonna get one frame out real quick. See what's going on in here. Take this end frame out first. Which is just all empty. It just doesn't look like much in here. Not going to open it too long, but I just want to see what's going on in here. Not, I mean, they got a little food though. I'm not seeing any brood on that frame. bees might have went queenless on me let me just look at this other frame again they went queenless because I'm I'm not seeing any sign of a queen here. No eggs, no queen, no brood at all. Nothing. They've got a little honey here. That's about it. But let me look one more time. No queen from what I can tell so more than likely they're not going to make it because I don't have any queens to give them right now so not much I can do for these girls here right now but that that happens That's part of it Alright, let me start feeding these girls. And okay, so now i got to take all the dry sugar out, but uh, I forgot to bring an empty pot get in the bucket so I can put all this stuff in. Well, every good beekeeper keeps a good old trash bag around, so let me, let me get to this. And I got the first one done, and now I'm going to just continue down the line. Here. Just took a sting right there. It's still in there. I'm not sure if you can see it pumping. But anyway, when you take this out, what I do is I just take my fingernail and scrape it out. Just like that. If you squeeze it, it's just going to push more venom in that sting right there.
don't forget to uh, leave comments below. Also, uh, another thing, subscribe to our channel and uh, stay tuned. Don't forget to hit the bell for notifications uh, so you can keep up to date with all of our uh, future videos. Uh, thanks for watching. Honeybee Highway.